Okay, so we're back on trail after getting dropped off by my stepdad and we're ready to hike. So we got 20.2 miles to the Delaware Water Gap, to Jersey. Isn't that exciting? Babe, you got a tick on you. I know. Get it off. So I got this tick and uh, it was in the back of my leg. Yeah, get that off. Getting it off. Now I'm gonna, second one I've pulled off of me already. I need to tick check you now. Yeah. I gotta spray myself with deep. You do, I told you a hundred times to. I sprayed myself and I had no issues. Did you just give the dog a burger? Huh? Are you allowed to do that? Uh. No, 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 that's mine. Mm -mm. You want the cheese. So it might be dry for a little bit. So we stopped here at this motel. Uh, I think it was 0.2 off trail. Um, to get some sodas. Nope went in the truck with the guy that's working here and uh, he's gonna take him to a store to get some sodas and stuff. And then uh, me and Baskets are just waiting for him to come back. Right Baskets? What? We're waiting for Nope to come back with soda. Yeah, I gave him 20 bucks. Uh, <laughs> I gave him 20 bucks to get us some goodies. Well, he has his own too. Yeah. Get us stuff. So. so. And while we're sitting here, someone just gave us a random cheeseburger. Guy came by, asked us how the trail was. I said, "Great." He said, "Here you go. Here's some trail magic." So we split a uh, cheeseburger. In yeah. Half. And that, awesome. and with the dog. Huh? And with the dog. The dog was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Nope came back, and look what he brought us: pizza and a sandwich. You're a lifesaver, Nope. And yeah. sodas. You're a lifesaver. He knew exactly what we Got wanted. Again. We didn't have even have to tell him. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Wind or wind gap, whatever it's called. And look, we're 910 miles to Katahdin. That's, that's awesome. Whew. So the sun is going down. Nope is ahead of me. Baskets is behind me somewhere. Not sure what the plan is. We didn't really discuss how many miles we wanted to do today. We just came in from uh, North Plainfield, New Jersey, where I'm from, my house today. So it's kind of like a Nero day, but I know Baskets is gonna want a night hike on all these rocks. <laughs> um, we'll see. I'm up for pretty much anything. I'm kind of I'm t the type of person that like is pretty down for anything. Um, only sometimes if it's cold or wet or a really rocky terrain with uh, incline, then I'll be like, no, let's just do a couple mi more miles or whatever. But usually if it's flat, good terrain, like I'm pretty much up for whatever. I don't really care. Um, tomorrow we're trying to go into Delaware Water Gap to the post office um, to pick up Nope's shoes that Baskets is mailing to him. His mother mailed them to Nope. Um, I think they're Baskets old shoes. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> so we're trying to get in there in the morning time. So all we have to do is set ourselves up there, um, do enough miles to set ourselves up to get into there uh, in the morning. We should be good. Um, not sure what Baskets is doing. I don't see him behind me. Not sure. Good morning, everyone. So last night we night hiked a bit. Um, we stayed at a campsite by this shelter over here, a very rocky campsite. My air mattress popped, or I think it did. I have to check it, but um, my stepdad is gonna pick one up at the REI and drop it off to me at the hostel down here. Um, so that's where we're hiking to. We're gonna hit Mount Minzy early this morning, which Minzy. is, <laughs> which if you don't know, Mount Tammany is on the New Jersey side and Mount Minzy is on the Pennsylvania side. They're one of the two well-known mountains on that border. People day hike it all the time. Everyone hikes those. I've done Mount Minzy, Mount Tammany countless of times because I live very close to here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited to show Baskets. Well, Baskets seen it already, 
but I'm gonna point out Mount Tammany to him. Did you see that last time? I guess you don't really know that uh, stuff. I mean, we saw a bunch of stuff. I was doing... Mount Tammany isn't part of the AT, Taking so a lot of people like don't know about that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's not supposed to rain. It was drizzling just now, but the radar says it's not supposed to rain. I don't know, we'll see. So we just passed one of the views that we would have seen Mount Tammany from Mount Minzy, but it's completely fogged up today. So there is absolutely no view. Um, so that kind of sucks, but that's okay. I've seen it tons and tons and tons of times. So that's okay. But trail is very rocky. We got our downhill down to the parking lot and then we'll probably see Nope soon. He left very early this morning, so. I've walked through this green tunnel many, many, many times. It's so crazy walking northbound though. I usually do this Sobo coming from New Jersey into Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania to New Jersey. So this is the Delaware River right here, and there's uh, Interstate 80 right there. So we're getting close to the New Jersey border. Oh, this is great. I'm so excited! I'm walking home! I'm walking home to my home state, Baskets! I guess you don't know what that feels like because you live in Chicago. Yeah. It is cool. Yeah. But it's weird hiking to your home state, though. You'll never get to experience that because your long trails don't go through your state. Finally home. Almost. Roadwalk here. We're heading to the hostel, the church hostel, where Nope's at. So we are at this free church hostel. I'm hanging out here, all cozied up. Baskets and Nope went and um, are walking down the road to get some coffee and maybe some donuts while I'm waiting here because I think some one of their friends is dropping them off some McDonald's. And um, I'm waiting for my stepdad to come and drop off my Therma Rest that he went and bought at REI for me because my mattress popped last night. So, yeah. Why do I get so mopey? So like, two people asked me today what the stuff on my legs are, because I still have those marks. I mean, they've been there for like two months. And I just get like so like depressed and like mopey after there's like people bring up my marks on my legs. If I could wear pants, I'd wear pants, so people would stop asking me. But I can't, it's hot out, so I have to wear shorts. But like, it's like, I don't know. It just like reminds me that they're still there and they're not going away. Like they don't itch or anything. They're just marks. Like I'm putting cream on it, try and get it to lighten, but it's my skin heals. It takes a very long time to heal. I have very sensitive skin, so it's just really uh, frustrating. I hope they go away soon because I'm getting tired of people asking me all the time like what they are. They're like, oh hi, nice to meet you. Oh you the bikes the the bugs really got you, didn't they? Or Oh, what is that? Do you want me to call a ranger? Oh, do you want to use this cream I have? Try it out? I'm like, just, I don't even want to think about them. I'll deal with it after trail. I'll go to a dermatologist or something. But, like, it's just frustrating. I, things usually don't bother me, but for some reason, this one, this does. I know that people are probably just trying to be helpful or whatever, but it's just, like, you don't know how long they've been there. It could be a medical condition. It could be birthmarks. It could be anything. So, like, think a little bit before you ask someone what something is on their body. Like, I don't know. I just find it rude. Like, I would never ask somebody that had a mark on their body. I don't care if it looks like bug bites and they're hiking or anything. Like, I'm not going to straight up, like, ask him about it, you know. No, I would never do that. Unless I legit knew it was a tick bite. 
I would not say anything. You know, if I saw a ring and I, oh shit, that's a tick bite, like, okay. But obviously it's a rash. It's like, I don't know, maybe people aren't as educated on tick bites or whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just trying to be helpful and I'm just sensitive. I just hear it every day so it gets annoying. Maybe that's what it is. It's just every day. But yeah, maybe I'm just being, maybe I'm being annoying. Maybe I'm an annoying person. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't care as much. But yeah, it just bothers me. Every time someone asks me, I just want to cry. It's like, oh, fuck. I just want these things to go away off my legs so my, I can just look like a normal person again. Fucking sucks. Meh. But I'll go see a dermatologist. Hopefully they'll go away. I mean, it could be worse. It could be on my face. All that shit could be on my face. That would be worse. I don't have it as bad as other people have it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I should stop being mopey because there's people with way worse stuff than me. It could be a disease, a legit disease that's, like, eating my skin, and it's not. I could have, like, other stuff, so. That's what I tell myself so I don't, like, freak out and. Yeah, can't complain much. People have way worse than you. So I'm not going to think about it anymore. You know, drove, drove milk, and we got, like, sodas and stuff. Do you like, like your new well, shoes? Well, probably the same one where you went left. Uh -huh. when you went, yeah. How much Do you like your there? new shoes? Oh, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. oh, we yeah. didn't stay at the motel. Oh. But we, like, we asked one of the workers. Church hostel was a success. My stepdad came. He dropped me off an Uber light, which, shout out to REI guys, because he went and brought them um, my old pad that had a hole. Well, it didn't really have a hole that we could find in it, but it just uh, was deflating on me, I guess. And uh, they, get, they was like, okay, here, you can have this one for free, and gave me the Uber light. The one he brought them was the um, X light, and they gave him an Uber light for free. Uh, I guess he told him I was through hiking, whatever, I needed a pad, and uh, they just gave him one. So that was really awesome. Shout out to the REI in East Hanover, New Jersey, my home REI. I think I was just there like a day ago, so they probably remembered me. Uh, we were there getting a couple things while I was home with, uh, in uh, North Plainfield. We picked up some new shoes there, so probably remembered me and knew who I was that he was talking about. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. We got that. Nope got his new shoes from the post office. Now we're going to stop by the outfitter down here because Basket's um, headlamp stopped working last night. But yeah, it's a beautiful day today. I might take you off this hoodie soon. And we're gonna cross over the border to New Jersey in a little bit. Really, really, really excited to be in my home state. All right, hold on. For some reason, Baskets wants me to show you this car. Look at this Volvo, guys. It's got the turbo rims on it. I used to drive this in a 93, mint condition, but mine was a sedan with the Thule roof rack and all that. Look at the front. I guess the car's really like a tank. Really old car, I guess. It's, it's a it's a Volvo. It's yeah. Beautiful. Those things last 400,000 miles. Baskets is really into cars. So I don't I don't really care, but maybe you guys do. Thank you so much. I'm on the bridge! I'm on the bridge to New Jersey! Yeah! 
Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Right away! Delaware Water Gap in New Jersey, guys. I can't tell you how many times I've crossed this bridge. And now I'm crossing it having walked from Georgia all the way to here. Pretty crazy. So we made it to the backpacker campsite. Um, this is my favorite campsite in New Jersey. Um, I've camped here a few times and there's just always a good Excuse me. Douglas. Thank you. There's just always a good view of the sunset, sunrise. It's flat. You can get your tent stakes in easily. It's huge. There's two privies. I just love this area. So we decided to have a short day today and enjoy and spend a little more time with each other. Right? Mm. We can just hang out in the tent. Yeah, we'll just relax, I guess. Yeah. And tomorrow we'll wake up early and pull out a good day. So, yeah. It's gonna, it sounds like it's about to pour soon. Like, um, thunder, it's thundering it and stuff. It says 40% pour. Show them the outside. Okay. That's the outside. A little dark out there, but... There you go. Good morning. So this is the campsite. Well, back there somewhere is a huge backpacker campsite. I think it's like four miles from the parking lot uh, from 80. But uh, it's, it's a great um, campsite. So we're heading out now. Um, seems like a little flat for a while. A lot of rocks though. And then... Uh, we're gonna aim to do a big day. It's only six o'clock right now. So, we gotta find Nope. He camped somewhere last night. I don't know where. We lost him. <laughs> but, uh, today's a good day. Kind of chilly this morning. Talk to you guys later. So, we've reached my favorite pond in New Jersey Sunfish Pond. This is a really nice pond. Uh, it's huge, right in. The mountains and uh, my hiking group that I used to hike with Metro Trails we used to do Sunfish Pond all the time we did a loop around here up Mount Tammany around the pond back to Dunfield Creek and it was just a beautiful loop and uh, you can see the pond peek out from over here so peaceful It's a really big pond. Oh gosh, so freaking peaceful. There used to be a bench here, and now it's flipped over. Oh no. Used to be able to sit on there. Uh. So guys, when you get to this ridge here, so it's right after Sunfish Pond, be very careful because there's a lot of rattlesnakes that like to hang out here, especially in the middle of the day when it's hot. Right now it's early, so I think we're okay, but if you're around here at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and the sun is pounding down, really, really use your trekking poles and make sure that you keep an eye out because the rattlesnakes love, love this area. I've stepped on a rattlesnake before, similar to this area, but closer to Sunfish Pond, back when I was like 21 or something. And uh, I, I heard the rattle and jumped quickly away. So just be mindful and careful when you get to this section because I know a lot of people see rattlesnakes here. What are you doing, Julie? Oh, nice. I have a photo of little Julie up on this rock pile. Look at them views.
Really nice view along the ridge here. Really beautiful. So we're stopping here for a little snack break. We were gonna stop at the Mohican Center. They said they opened at nine o'clock, but nobody showed up, so we just left. Um, we're right here by the fire tower, which I've climbed up multiple times with different hiking groups. Um, there's a really good 360 view at the top of this fire tower. So I recommend when you get here to go up there. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, uh, right now it's locked. I don't know what you're doing. Baskets is being crazy. And he's just showing off again. He wants to do his pull-ups. It's pull-ups o'clock. It doesn't, you don't have to be at a gym to get a workout in. That's a David Goggins quote right there. Here we go, we got a pull-up bar right here. Knock out a couple pull-ups. One. One? <laughs> it's hard to grip that thing. You go do more. <laughs> he, he, watch you do like 20. He's going to do a lot. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. One. <laughs> nice. Two. Two. This is how the pros do it, nope. This is how the pros do it. Oh no. One. <laughs> Two. Oh, my hands hurt. Oh. New Jersey rock scramble here. About one more mile till we go down to that lake and get to eat at Gyps. Oh, so beautiful. What are you doing, Baskets? I'm gonna get my charger on my phone's uh, at Dying. 1%. Yeah. Okay. God, such a gorgeous view. So we decided to go to Mountain House Tavern instead. The food looks really good. Chili, wings, how are they? Oh, they're really good. Nope. Look how gorgeous the sunset is. Yep. Oh god, so pretty. It sure is. It is absolutely gorgeous. That was a big climb out of uh, out of the road from the from the restaurant. Hey baskets! Yeah. Okay, you're right there. Check out this sunset. Oh yeah. Look how gorgeous. That yeah, is nice. Yeah. So pretty. Yeah, look at those rain clouds over it. Like Good it. thing we're not over there. Huh? Good thing the rain clouds are over there, not over here. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're just there. I don't think it's raining anymore. Yeah. Just look at that. So gorgeous. That's a nice one, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Good morning guys. So we camped at this spot here. We night hiked for an hour or so. Um, we did 30 miles yesterday. So that was exciting. I'm really familiar with this terrain. So it was, it was just cruising down the trail. Someone actually did a painting of this shelter. It's really nice. Joe Gennaro, I guess, did it. Really nice painting. Never, ever, in my life, have I seen a man comb his eyebrows. Ever. Huh? 
We're in the woods. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you combing your beard? Did you just take a selfie? What is going on right now? What? You just combed your beard. I haven't taken a selfie in like two months. Your eyebrows and your mustache and took a selfie. I figured I should just take a selfie. Why? So you can see what you looked like yeah. on the AT halfway, yeah. well, in New Jersey? Yeah, Jersey. And we're like, well, we got 800 miles left, 800 and something miles left. Yeah. So I figured I'm going to take one in Jersey and take a couple more and maybe put them up or something. I don't know. I haven't taken like, I probably have, I haven't taken a selfie probably at all. I've maybe, I might have we taken a couple, we might have had like a handful of selfies way earlier, but we haven't had one in a long time. Some okay. people take a selfie every day of the trail, and then they make a... This is an idea for you guys, YouTubing or whatever. You take a selfie every day, and then you make a video about, like, uh, that covers your appearance changes, your weight loss, and everything. And you can see the person transforming from uh, day one to day whatever it is. You All can right, see basket. the drastic difference. Nice excuse for taking a selfie, baskets. <laughs> We still have 30 miles to do before the New Jersey, New York border. Oh, baskets, when was the last time you had a haircut? <laughs> I mean, I trimmed the sides with little mini scissors a while ago. I want to show this. Oh, look at his hair. It sticks out of your hat. Hmm? It sticks out of your hat. <laughs> I can't wait to see you get a haircut when we're done with the trail. You going to trim your beard? Um, That's okay. Just your hair though needs a little trim. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we made it to the High Point headquarters. Got us some free sodas. And now we're heading back onto trail. It got really chilly out. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! I'm wearing my R1. The highest point in New Jersey is right up there. That tower, right there. Lots of mud, right? It's pretty bad, yeah. Yeah. I just got my feet completely. They need this board over there. Oh. <laughs> Can't avoid the mud. So we made it to, what is it called? Annabelle's Pizza. Annabelle's Pizza. And we, there is no nope here. He must have went off to the Who's shelter. That? You don't know who no, Epon. Oh, Epon. Yeah, I know Epon. Epon. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we had a lot of pizza, burgers, and now we're drinking coffee, and we're gonna head out aiming for the shelter tonight. The Pochunk, Pochunk? Yeah, so after the boardwalk and all that, whatever the flat stuff is. I don't know oh, if it's well. a boardwalk there, I don't remember. It's something, yeah, probably not the boardwalk, but whatever it is, it's flat. Yeah, it's flat and then a climb, point three climb to like the shelter. a bird watching area there before or something? Yeah, so, yeah, it might be night hiking a little bit tonight, but. I'm gonna stop and bird watch. I'm not missing out on that. I'm not missing There's out on There's owls everywhere. Oh, is there? Your little owl friends will be there, probably. I did the high point today. So we are back on trail, heading for a Pochunk shelter. We got word that Ner Nope is already there. He told us there's a bunch of tent sites. Good morning. 
So we stayed at Po Chunk Shelter last night. We had a night hike for a couple hours, but we made it there. Nope's little green tent was set up there. So we found our friend. This morning, Nope was nowhere to be seen. He headed out early. We kind of ate some leftover pizza we packed out at the shelter. We met a YouTuber named Wrong Way. He was staying at that shelter. And uh, yeah, so we uh, were heading out. We're about a mile or so out. We're aiming for a farm to resupply at. And then depending how good that resupply is, we'll skip the next town, go a little further, and maybe tomorrow we'll get a hotel or something. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yep, that's our plan for today. Coming up on this little stream here, and there's a bridge over it. Do you need water baskets? No, I'm good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Whoop. It's a little rooty here, but... You always do that to me. Always. He screams, Marco Pontani passes the Garden State. And then he runs past me. He loves freaking doing that. Always. Okay, I get it, Baskets. I get it. I get it. All right, always cross in the zebra lines so that a car don't hit you. Oh, we made it to the boardwalk. I love this boardwalk. So that's gonna be a few miles of boardwalk here. And we gotta keep in mind that we gotta look out for these animals. You got a turtle, you got an owl, a bird, the hummingbird and then the uh, the flowers and the butterflies and I guess a raccoon so I've been actually really proud of my state I haven't really seen any littering or anything like that I saw one shirt that somebody accidentally left but other than that my state like we do a good job with leave no trace what we pack in we pack out and uh, shout out to the maintainers of the trail because it's been great so far. There's some patches where they need some more boards for the mud, but other than that, the trail's been greatly maintained. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud to be from this state. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous trail in New Jersey. I love, love, love the AT in New Jersey. It's like my favorite. So today, actually, we're going to be leaving New Jersey, which I'm a little sad. I'm really enjoying walking the whole length of the trail in New Jersey northbound. Um, but we'll be in New York soon. And Vasquez says shortly after we cross the border, wow, there's some really cool birds here. They fly too fast, but there's some really exotic looking birds in this patch. Um, but Vasquez said once we cross the New, Jer New York border, um, there's gonna be some pizza and a good ice cream place. And a zoo, a zoo that you walk through. So I'm excited for that. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna try to zoom in. Anyone know what these like little black birds are with the orange belly, striped belly? Let me know, there's two of them here. What are those? They look so pretty.
All right, check this out, guys. Down there, we started in Georgia, and now look where we are. I am right here in Vernon. Gonna be in New York a little bit later today. And then that's all I got left is that. All the way up to Katahdin. So we're almost ready to climb Stairway Heaven to the view of Pinwell Vista. And first we're gonna stop at Heaven Hill Farm to have lunch. Oh, we gotta take a picture, Baskets. Can you get one of them there? We gotta take a picture there together. I know, can you get one of them? I'm holding my camera around. All right. Ooh, fish! <laughs> Who can rock the fastest? This Who? is what I need in my life, a rocking chair. My life is complete. <laughs> I have a house this size, a little tiny porch, and two rocking chairs. Yeah. Come on, you gotta rock I it out. I nope. NBA games in the evenings and uh, hike, I guess, during the day or do whatever. I'm gonna give this one to Baskets. What? You rocked it the most. What? So we just finished eating. Baskets was giving me a hard time telling me he thought I didn't have enough food since we're pushing on past the next town to the next town. Um, but um, I think I'm okay. We're gonna get uh, some hot dogs. I think there's a hot dog stand, so maybe I'll pack out some hot dogs, just in case. Um, yeah, we had some lunch here, had a sandwich and some chips, and we're heading back out on trail shortly. Take a soda. Take a soda. Yeah. So, unfortunately, it was rainy and foggy. We did not get a good view of Pinwell Vista. Baskets, you're supposed to wait till the New York, New Jersey border to eat your hot dog. dog. At Mitch's hot dog stand. You couldn't wait till the border crossing to eat your hot dog? We're supposed to celebrate with the hot dog to represent New York. I got pizza that I And the out. pizza to represent New Jersey, and you ruined it. Mm. You ruined it. I couldn't wait. Ugh. So we made it to New Jersey, New York. Yay! We're gonna take a break here for a little bit. Julia, you made it to New York. How does it feel? I mean, pretty good, I guess. Favorite part of uh, New Jersey? Uh, just seeing the, all the sections that I have done before in one straight line. Cool. So favorite part, I guess, would be Delaware Water Gap. Nice. There you go. Baskets. New York. New York, baby. Good morning, everybody. So last night we camped by a little water source and now we're about maybe a mile in and we got a gorgeous, gorgeous view of the lake over there. And uh, it's just a lot of rock slabs on a ridge. Uh, we're gonna try to make it to the shelter that I've been to before when I was Hiking with my hiking groups, we stopped at this sh one shelter to get away from the rain. It was pouring that day. And we might aim to sleep in that same shelter tonight, or near the shelter, because we don't sleep in shelters. But I'm really excited to see it as a through hiker. So that's what I'm really looking forward to today. But yeah, gorgeous day today. No rain, perfect weather. A little chilly, but I'd rather be cold than hot and bugs in my face. And so I'll take it. Today is Basket's lucky day. Not only did I surprise him this morning with some carrot cake 
Actually, I didn't really surprise you. I told you about it. Yeah. But anyway, I tried to surprise you. I'm bad at surprises. I got him, uh, I also got him soda. I surprised him with extra soda that I had in my pack that he didn't know I had. So I'm gonna enjoy it with some giant red hot pickled sausage. Firecracker original. You know Baskets love his pickled sausage. Other than Spam, this is the second best treat. This is a golden sausage. Mm. Wait, golden ticket? <laughs> that no. just sound wrong, Never mind. <laughs> All right, I gotta think before I talk sometimes. How's it taste? That was good. Yeah. Oh, snap! I see some Cokes. Oh my gosh. And lots and lots of snacks. Trail magic, trail magic. Thank Lord you're tall. That's right, Julie. Thank That's Lord. Right. Thank Lord. Otherwise, I'd have no trail magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Julie. Look at all these goodies. Oh, yeah. So, we just ate lunch. And now we're heading back out. I had a hoagie and some chips. Yum. two days possible rain and high 40s high 40s it's gonna yeah. be cold as shit yeah. you're gonna want your wool back yeah well I got I got some extra clothes you can wear yeah we'll have to get get some kind of layers at the place so it's yeah. like 50 60 percent rain so it's not the worst I mean tomorrow we'll push it today yeah tomorrow we won't have as much to do yeah. you know and then coming out of town we'll have probably have a couple cold days maybe one and a half to cold days yeah all right, we'll be good. Yeah. All right, guys. It is air out your feet o'clock and maybe some crackers and tuna o'clock too. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. How's pretty your day? I guess 20, 25 maybe, I don't know. Yeah. See what we can do. Oh, I feel so good. I take your shoes off sometimes. There's the white blaze. We got Julie following the lemon squeezer. I'm going in. It's raining, but I took my phone out just so I could tell you that I made it 1,400 miles on trail. Um, we stayed at a camp spot right before a shelter because uh, it was raining last night and it's raining all day today. So I probably won't vlog much. But woohoo! 1,400! Yeah, buddy! 1,400 baskets! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! We're just trying to get to Fort Montgomery as soon as possible before it starts pouring more. Okay, bye! So we made it to Fort Montgomery. We're staying at the Bear Bridge, what is it called? Bear Mountain Bridge Motel. And uh, now we're at this wonderful little barbecue place. What was it that we ordered? The big platter of food? It's called the combo, combo platter. Hmm? We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork. We ordered two buns or rolls to make sandwiches out of. We got two side dishes, so we should be good. Our hiker hunger should be uh, pretty good. And then uh, the lady is really nice at the motel. She's gonna do our laundry. So hopefully it's done when we get back. Whoa. 
won't believe what just happened. I told him he could have a sip. He just slurped up all my whipped cream from my hot chocolate. I was sipping it and it just went into my mouth. Yeah, okay. You drank all my whipped cream.